This is a demonstration of some new ways of testing graphs with example students. So I have a graph here and I'm logged in as a teacher. I can go to the menu and say I want a single student window. And what I'm going to do is to put this on the side like this. So here's the student window that was just automatically generated. And of course I can walk through here the graph. However, one thing you'll notice is that if I go to switch to another session, this window is actually following me. And so I could go to switch to this session, and this student is following me. So this would not be the case if this was a normal student logged into a stable slug, but because I'm using this as an example window, it will follow me around, making it easier when I create new sessions and so on. Uh, I might want to see multiple students. I could open a bunch of different windows, but I can also do that um, automatically. So we have a few different options. We can open four students. So these are four different uh, student windows in the same uh, pane. And there's a special little feature where the views are actually somewhat scaled. Uh, this doesn't always work. Here with iframe it, it won't work, but here for example it does. Um, of course, following mechanism applies to all of these. So if I switch here, back to this one and here you see that the scaling is, is quite important because if I had uh, just taken a single window and made it so small it actually wouldn't look very good um, so I can go through here so we have two other options as well I'm going to close this one we can open um, three students with a teacher. So this gives us a teacher um, as one of the windows. And because this teacher is now in, uh, in testing mode, you'll see that um, I can restart the graph directly from this button. And I can also walk through the graph as fast as I want. There's no um, checking whether I'm walking too fast or double clicking and so on. Um, the final mode is very similar, but um, it gives us um, students, teacher, and projector view. So uh, basically the teacher orchestration view, the teacher a view of the P3 or P4, and the two students. So we'll see here, these are two individual activities, so the two students are seeing them. But when I go to the teacher activity, we can see it here, and the two students cannot see it. So um, that's it.